This video will demonstrate the use of the USB flash drive to clone a scanner. You can take the configuration and the firmware files off of an existing device and copy them and transfer them to another scanner or use them to place files that you've created in 123 scan onto the device. So we have the MP7000 with the cover removed for the platter and we have a USB flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and insert it and you'll listen for the menu options. You hear it enumerates and now you should hear a sequence of beeps. The first beep one tone is to copy files onto the flash drive. And then you hear three beeps which is to copy statistic files from the device on to the flash drive. So there's usually an option two as well and that would be to take the files that are on the flash drive and put them onto the device. So, but since there's currently no files on the device, we have to write the files to it first. So we'll listen for the menu option. When you get to one, we're going to press the third button down. So there's one. So we'll wait for it to come back around again. There's three. And we get to one, we'll select it with the EAS button, third button down. And then it'll repeat back and then quickly tap it again and that should select it. You should hear a ticking sound now. So what that is doing is copying the files off of the device onto the flash drive. So when we remove the flash drive and put it back into the device, you should hear an option two now as well. And when it's done, you'll hear this unique warble tone, like a high, low, high, and that indicates that it's done and the uh, ticking noise that you hear will stop. So we'll go ahead and let that write out and copy those files onto the flash drive. Alright, that indicates that it's done. So you can hear there's no more ticking sounds. So the warble sound, the high, low, high, it sends it's done. So we can go ahead and remove the flash drive. We'll take it out. And with the unit would normally reboot, we'll go ahead and reinsert it. You hear now we should get now we should get all three menu options. There's one. There's two, and there's three. So to do option two, to put the files back on, we'll select that. There's one, there's two, we'll select it. You hear two beeps to confirm, tap it, and now you should hear the files going back onto the device. And since they're the same, the firmware should not be copied back. Since it's the same firmware we just copied, it's going to just copy over the configuration. And it should be done fairly quickly. Again, listening for the ticking sounds and the uh, kind of a warble tone at the end, the high, low, high. There's the reboot. And there's the high-low high, so that indicates that it's complete. So we could remove the flash drive. Now if we want to do the third option, we can plug it back in. There's the first beep. We're going to listen for three beeps this time. Select it, and you hear three beeps back. Confirm it with the tap and now you're going to hear some files write out. This is copying all the diagnostic and statistic information off of the device, placing it onto the flash drive so you can take a look at it or email it off to support to have a look at all the um, diagnostic data available. So there's the warble that indicates that you're done. So it's complete. Just remove the drive and you'll hear the unit reboot and it's complete. That's the extent of using the USB flash drive.